sunny day. It's Monday. Uh, spring may have sprung. It's the 2nd of March. I'm at Manchester, Victoria. I'm by myself, but with a little wave of my hand. Phil's here! So we're here today because uh, lots of new trains come into the network and some of those are for Transpennine Express. We're having a Transpennine Express day out. We are. We're having an Oasis themed Champagne Supernova day as we try and find the Nova 1, the Nova 2 and the Nova 3 all in the same day. That's right. So yes. We, we, we have a plan. We're going to do... We have a plan. We're going to do all three Nova fleets. What? It's going to work. Let's go. Let's go. Are you, sp are you writing down numbers? Are you spotting, Phil? Are you spotting numbers? <laughs> no. You're just taking pictures. I'm just taking pictures. We're on board. Ham, so this is a Nova one. Nova one. Yes. It's a Hitachi. Hitachi train, correct. So you were formerly the... Assistant editor. Of... Modern Railways magazine. But now, Phil is now the editor of Modern Railways magazine. Can I have my free copy? I only ever invite Phil along to get my free magazine. Thanks yes. very much. Oh, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Oh, right. So I'll go and I'll leave you to it. <laughs> So for disclosure, Transpennine did offer us to take this trip today, so thanks Transpennine for the free ticket. So we're sat in first class there, but I will wander through standard. There is of course a regular accessible toilet. So it's a standard Hitachi train, by which I mean it's the class 800 family of trains. There's 800, 801, 802. So in a minute, we're going to draw you a chart. It's got the standard vestibule area with the bike rack and, and, and then the, the smaller toilet with the proper locking handle, which I like. There is a kitchen aboard. We're back in first class. We're chatting to the lovely gentleman that's uh, got the trolley. He's saying that today there is an issue with the hot water. Uh, and on this new route, which I'll get Phil to discuss in a minute, going up the east coast uh, to Edinburgh, uh, they'll do like full meals and not just like tea, coffee and snacks, which is good. And I do like the standard class seat bucket as well. Pulling into Huddersfield, Rail Delivery Group's World Cup winning station of 2019, of course, and the cats. Uh, Transpennine, when they give you snacks on board, um, look, br branded, branded flapjacks. Um, I'm going to quickly attempt to draw what I think, because we're on the Hitachi train, so you have 800s, right? Yeah. And 801s. Yeah. And 802s. <laughs> now, GWR had them first. Yeah. Then NNER got theirs. Yeah. Now, TP have got theirs, but also hull trains are getting some, and we think maybe in the future, the new West Coast franchise of Vantia getting some. No maybe about it, they've ordered them. So GWR run 800, not 801s, but they do run 802s. Yeah. LNER, and they call theirs the IETs. Yeah. LNER run 800s and 801s, but not 802s, and they call theirs Azumas. Azuma. TPEs don't run 800s and 801s, but what we're on now is an, an 802. It's a shiny new 802, and they call them Novas, and specifically this is a Nova 1 train, right? Yeah. Hull have got, so Hull have got. But weirdly, they call, but they call their trains Paragon. And then the one that I mentioned to you earlier as well is East Mids are also getting some biomass. Oh, East Midlands are also getting some as well. But what we really need to feel, um, when we get, we'll get to Leeds in a minute. We'll get to Leeds in a minute. Yeah. And then can you draw me a diagram of the TPE network? Yeah. And then what trains are running to what destinations? Yeah, we this, can do that. This is the, the, the amazing, the magic thing. Okay, well, do, you, you'll do us a map. I'll do you a map. I do need a map. Yeah. I like a good map. They're not just coming out for a ride, Jeff. This train we're on now, this is a new service. This is a Liverpool Lime Street to Edinburgh up yeah. the East Coast service. And weirdly, after Newcastle, it stops at Morpeth. So, so it, was, it used to do Liverpool to Newcastle, and what they've done is they've extended it onto Edinburgh. Okay. With Calls it Morpeth. And Mor it, why Morpeth? That's the really weird Chat Hill line think, with, with, with Widrington and Acklington. So I think Morpeth had a really irregular service. So okay. TP in the franchise said, um, here's an opportunity to call our trains at Morpeth. So Morpeth now getting re a regular train service for the yeah. first time in, ma hour, in many years. An hourly service. Yeah. Wow. Go Morpeth. All right. 
made it to Leeds. It does look good, doesn't it? It looks all sleek and shiny and fast. And we've got to get over to platform 16 to uh, get the Nova 3 back. Here comes our train. What did you say, Phil? It looks like Darth Vader. So, so, th so this has got. So this is the Nova 3, which is coming in. Uh, and it's a class 68 loco with five Mark 5A carriages. And so you have the loco he's got on the front here, and then the other end has got the driving trailer, which has got a cabin with passenger carriages in. And but what's the Darth Vader thing? Because I'm, so about, so I'm, I'm about to hum the Imperial March. So that's, dum, dum, so that's the driving dum, trailer dum, end. Dum, 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 dum. This, uh, this is a Nova 3, Three, which is a class 68 loco. Yeah, which is just behind us. Pulling a rake of five carriages. Yeah. F uh, Mark 5 carriages. So they're Mark 5 A's. Which are very similar, if not identical, to the ones on the Caledonian Sleeper. That's right. So when Transpilon ordered them, yep. Caledonian Sleeper already ordered their Mark 5 carriages from CAF. Okay. So Transpilon went to them and said, and they went, we'll have some You've got some well. carriages. Can right. we have some? And obviously, with no sleeping berths. Just for, just for day coaches for passengers. There's a first class bit, the, but the standard class looks like a Hitachi train in terms of seating and layout. But it begs the question, the obvious question must be is, well, why run a loco service? Why don't they just run more Hitachi trains? So it was it was at the time the franchise started, they ordered them, and it was about how they phased the delivery of the three train fleets and, and about Hitachi, Hitachi, I don't think, had the capacity to build as many trains as you could have had, so the other piece instead. And also, the other, the other benefit is, is should you ever electrify the whole Transpennine, yeah. you've got a diesel loco on the front at the moment, take the diesel off and put an electric loco on. Yeah. Loco whole train. Fascinated to know uh, what the toilet was. Oh, look, it's me. Uh, what the toilet was like, the accessible toilet uh, on the coaching stock, rather than uh, rather than uh, the 397, which we're about to do, or the Hitachi train. It's it's pleasant, reasonable sized toilet. Standard class, very similar seats to the Hitachi. It's like a vinyl here. That kit is the same, but you get a table. The tables aren't all lined up with the windows, but it's still very it's smart and it's new. Can I can I point out one of my favourite bits? Phil, here's a section of the video that we like to call Phil points out his favourite bits. <laughs> Have you on the carpet yet? I did get an uh, Instagram of it earlier. Why? Okay, I just I just think the carpet is a wonderful thing on the on which is a, it's the same on all three Nova fleets. Oh, I just I mean I'm a fan of blue. And I kind of tried to dress to match the colour theme of the day. Have you worn TPE colours today? I've just I've only just realised. Is that what I've, you've done? I've, I've, I've tried to dress to match the theme of the day. <laughs> I haven't. I've just worn my regular yeah. black and grey nonsense. Oh, I should have worn. I mean, I brought the right colour pens. I brought the sharp. <laughs> I brought the sharpies for the map. I made some effort, but I didn't think to wear the right colours. I'm sorry. So we're back to Piccadilly. Uh, Lost Field. There he is. We've got to go grab a picture of the trailer end. Not the local end. You better get down there. This is the one that the staff told me they think it's a Darth Vader. Oh, so the local one is a Darth Vader? No. This is a Darth Vader? Yeah. Oh. oh, so now I hum the Imperial Calling Vader. Head. Exciting moment has come to pass. Platform 13 for the 1425 Transpennine Express service to Manchester Airport. Manchester Air, as we call it. And this should be a class 397 Nova 2. This, well, I can, I can any, see it in the distance, so there's, any there's no shit about it.
you just slide your seat over? Yeah. Very nice. And? It's really good. I think externally it looks fantastic. I think the way the train and livery works on these is it's the best of the three. We made it to Manchester Airport. So behind me is the 397, this is the Nova 2 that we've just been on, but back around here is the Nova 1, which is the Hitachi train. The liveries are slightly different, have you noticed, on the front? They are, here's the Nova 2 livery, and here's the Nova 1 livery. So walking through standard, the windows are deeper than the Hitachi trains, and you have these vinyl bits at the top of the seats, but it's very, it's very similar. And the maquette's the same. And the cart is the same. It's very smart. It's my favourite part of the video. It's where I give you some pens. TP, by the way, look, I did them in your colours. The kind of the blue and purple and... See? Um, I noticed. You're going to draw some map. I am. Of, of the TPE network. Don't cheat, Phil, by looking at the screen behind us, which is showing the map right now, and, and then you're going to sort of write on which, which of the trains go to which destinations. Yep. You're drawing like the Liverpool to Manchester core, and obviously there's like the little bit down to Manchester airport, and now you're drawing in here the west coast, what I call the west coast mainland route, so it goes up through Preston to Carlisle, and then up to Glasgow. Uh, where's Newcastle? There we go, so Middlesbrough obviously off before Newcastle, and then, as we've learned in earlier in the video, We've now extended the Newcastle service up towards Edinburgh. Well, you've, you've drawn the network, but now we're using the colour pens, you have to write in, you sort of draw the actual routes. Okay. That... So, Harman Cleethorpes is the Class 185. That will still be the 185. Still be the 185. There we so go. At the moment, it's, it's sort of in transition because the new trains are gradually coming in. But, so, what the end state is that most of the Nova stuff will be concentrated on on there and the 185s will mostly be on the Cleethorpes and the whole services and the local services between Manchester and Leeds. James Pennine, I always met this gang. If you'd like to employ Phil to be your next uh, graphic designer, uh, just email him. I'm sure he could... Uh, <laughs> we should... It's not like I've got another job, is it? <laughs> <laughs> we should stick this up somewhere. Let's stick this up in the vestibule. <laughs> so, 15.30. There's the new, oh, son, the new uh, class 397. Yeah. Phil, we've ticked off Nova 213. No, what order did we do them in? 132. 132. So, uh, but the 397 is my favourite. But they're all new, they're all smart. Uh, and more and more capacity. More capacity, and, it's all good. And a proper intercity tile service for TPE, which is what, what, what was demanded in the franchise. And yep. that's what's here. And, and it's coming. And the trains are coming in, and later in the year they'll all, they'll all be in service. Phil, as ever, thanks so much. Thank thanks, you, Jeff. Thanks for Phil's map. We'll see you again next time on some other railway adventure somewhere. Yeah. Here's your closing shot. If, if you invite me again. <laughs> if you give me a free magazine again. Here's your, <laughs> here's your closing <laughs> shot of a transport train.